Hey. Um. As some or many of you know, uh, I I struggle with um with mental health. Um. Uh, like a lot of people. Um. And you know, some of you or many of you know that I have a chronic pain condition as well, which um <laughs> certainly doesn't help. Uh particularly when everything kind of feels like it's ganging up on you. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this up online or or whatever. Um But I, uh, I, I went and spoke to a doctor today, uh, which is, is hard to do, um, especially when I'm aware that there's a risk with it, you know, being high functioning, being someone with insight often is a bit of a double edged sword because you can you can rationalize and understand processes um but yeah still there are these these impossible tasks um there's a very insightful person on twitter has coined the term um and they can be big and they can be small um anywhere from you know just actually being able to have a shower or get out of bed to uh, furthering your business or um, making a decision about something. Um, I've been battling a lot of things, uh, particularly over the last three months. And um, I've sought support before and it's not always gone very well. Um, this is what I mean about it's difficult to to talk sometimes because you're required to. They want you to be honest, right? They want you to be open and honest, but at the same time, there's this thing called duty of care and. Forgive me for those who know what duty of care is. Um, but for those who don't, it basically means that, you know, there is a, a legal obligation, um, but also just as a human being who has compassion and, and cares, um, that, you know, if you feel that someone uh, is at risk of harm, to themselves or to someone else that they mentioned, then you know there's a duty of care to do something about that, um, which is which is a good thing, but it can put people in a really difficult position because you want to be honest, you want to be open about how you are feeling, but you're also very aware of the fact that if if they don't listen to you properly, if they if they react as opposed to respond, then suddenly your capacity to be involved in the decision making processes of how your care moves forward can be taken away. Um and things like sectioning can happen and and I'm not saying there isn't a place and time for things like that. Um, but for those of us who are high functioning, but are constantly fighting dark ideations and stuff, who perhaps want to or just need to, whether they want to or not, whether they they need to talk about these things without feeling like suddenly their their liberties are going to be taken away 
um, is difficult and scary and then adds into the anxiety and, and the fear and the loathing and all the rest of it. Um, and in my time I've had a lot of negative experiences with crisis teams and doctors and mental health professionals, sorry for the air quotations there. Um, You know, and, and medication's not for everyone. The summit can make things worse. Um, but I'm getting off track a little bit. There's this frustrating thing with being high functioning and whether that's high functioning addiction or high functioning depression or or you're just naturally a reflective individual um, is that often you kind of, when you need support, you need help, you find you end up having to support the people to support you so that they don't react and so that they can respond. Um which you know when you're when you're feeling pretty shocking um is a really difficult thing to do um but sometimes sometimes it, it works out and i actually felt supported as opposed to kind of judged as a liability or something that needs to be managed and I need to manage myself don't get me wrong but um, often there's the panic you know the the weight of duty of care can cause a lot of panic in people and obviously there's the, there needs to be a, an understanding of trust right you know you you talk to someone about feeling suicidal and they have to ask you, you know, well, do you have any plans? And, and you go, well, who doesn't, right? It's, it's countless ways to take your own life. And then they give you that look, <laughs> that nervous, worried, like, shit, what am I going to do now, look? And then you point out to them that the fact that I'm here, the fact that I'm coming to you for support, the fact that I recognise that I'm struggling, shows that I don't want to act on these things. Shows that I do have insight into the patterns of my mind, my behaviour and my emotions. What it actually says is, I'm still fighting, and I want to keep fighting. But I'm struggling. And I just want to say now to all of the people that have helped me along the way, that have been there for me, that have listened to me prattle on, that have yeah, just to all of you that have been there in any way, shape or form, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much how much it means. <laughs> and I'm still here. And I'm still fighting. And um To anyone who's going through it all, you are enough, you are loved, and you can be the love that you need as well. It's just not all that easy sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know if I'm going to post this, but I can see it's nearly 10 minutes long, so I'm going to shut up now. Much love. Take care.